In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sphere, cylinder, and pyramid commands in Minecraft World Edit. Here are some timestamps to help you find your place, and we're going to start simple and get more advanced. First up is slash slash pyramid. All we do is type slash slash pyramid, then the block that you want it to be made out of, and then you type a number. Now this number is the number of levels of blocks that the pyramid will have. So for example, this pyramid of 10 will have 10 layers. And if for whatever reason you need to know what the base length of the pyramid is, all you need to do is take the number of levels, times it by 2, and take away 1. So for example, a pyramid with 10 levels will have a base length of 19. There is one variant of this command which is slash slash h pyramid, which just makes a hollow pyramid that is exactly the same as a normal pyramid, just hollow. When choosing what blocks you want your pyramid to be made out of, there's also a bunch of other options. For example, hashtag clipboard, which will make the pyramid out of the last thing that you copied, or the double hashtag, which is a tag that you can use. For example, hashtag hashtag wool, which is the wool tag, which will make it out of all different random types of wool. But these need a video of their own to explain, because there's a lot of them. Once I've made a video describing them, I will leave a link to them in the description and the pinned comments, but let's move on to the sphere. We type slash slash sphere followed by the material you want the sphere to be made out of followed by the radius of the sphere with the radius of the sphere being the distance from the center of the sphere to the edge of the sphere however this does not include the center block so this sphere has a radius of 5 but a total length of 11. So you can see that the way to calculate the total length of the sphere is to times the radius by 2 and add 1. There is also a hollow variant of this command and you just type h sphere which does exactly the same as the sphere command just makes it hollow. Just like the pyramid command there's a bunch of complexity you can add by choosing clipboard or tags whilst you are choosing the block you want the sphere to be made out of but that needs a whole video of its own. Finally, for the sphere command, you can control the length of the radius in each of the axes. So here you can see that the Y axis is represented by emerald blocks, which goes up, and then the X and Z axes are represented by gold and lapis blocks. If you need to know which axes you're moving in, then you can just look at your F3 screen. Z is the last one. If that's increasing or decreasing, then that direction is the Z axis. If X is increasing or decreasing, then that is the X axis and obviously y is just up and down. Now once again, the radius is the distance from the center of the sphere, but not including the center block. So this sphere we've got here is going to have a y radius of 20, an x radius of 10, and a z radius of 5. And they're written in the order x, then a comma, then y, then a comma, then the z. Finally, it's time for the cylinder command. We type slash slash sill, followed by the block that you want the cylinder to be made out of, followed by either one number or two numbers. The first number is the radius of the cylinder, and the second number is optional, and it's the height of the cylinder. If you don't put in a height, it will automatically give a height of one. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, but this does not include the center block. There is also the slash slash h sill command, which does exactly the same, just makes it hollow. Finally, when choosing what blocks you want your cylinder to be made out of, you can use things like tags and clipboards, like I have done here, but there is a lot of them, so they'll require their own video to explain. When I make a video describing how to use the tags and clipboards, I will leave that in the description and in the pinned comments, but for now, that is the end of this video. If you found it helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe, because it really helps me out. And if you'd like to watch some world edited action, I do loads of crazy builds on my channel in my other videos that you might really enjoy. Thanks for watching, and goodbye!